Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mike from Family Game Review, and for day 17, for the Light It Up Loot Challenge, got a notification on my system. So for day 17, we are going to do NBA Jams. Now, this is the On Fire Edition. There's been many, you know, versions of NBA Jams over the many years. Uh, from the original that came out in 1993, I want to say. Uh, to this version, which is available on backwards compatibility on the Xbox One through the Xbox 360. Uh, 360. It's also available on the PlayStation 3, if I remember correctly, and on PC. And I'm pretty sure it's on the Nintendo consoles also. But this is going to be a short broadcast. Camille would like to join us, but she's actually finishing up with one of our you know, special needs broadcasts right now that she's doing right now. So... She's not going to be available for this one today, unfortunately, as much as we would want her to be. But I am going to play the game, and I'm going to talk about the game itself in more detail about why this is a great game. This is actually very popular, believe it or not, in oh, excuse me, in our office because this is the only sports title on the Light It Up Blue Challenge. Challenge, and the reason why is this is a game that is very easy to pick up and play. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's very easy to pick up and play, and it's a game in which a lot of our fans love. Um, fans, excuse me. A lot of our playtesters love, and especially the ones with special needs. They love it because of the simplicity of the game. Uh, sports games, as of late, have become a little bit more difficult to play. Uh, to the level in which, before, like if you played a game back in the '90s, there was like for basketball, there was shoot, pass, and block. And now these days there's more controls and there's more finicking to learning how to use controls itself. And that causes a lot of frustration, we've noticed, when we had playtesting. And that's the reason why we kind of steered away from games that were sports related. Unless there was something about the game that was unique or interesting or something that would, you know, be something of interest. And so far what we've seen in our playtesting, and it doesn't mean that, you know that the playtesting means that we're excluding sports titles or that the fact that they're not good for children with autism it's just just like how Camille always says is that every child is different on the spectrum no ch two children are alike and that is the reason why um, that we can have many sports titles but it doesn't mean that if your child is a sports fan such as hockey basketball football soccer or any other sport it doesn't mean that they may not enjoy it they may enjoy it very enjoy it very much and they may pick up on the controls very quickly but from our play testing we've noticed with the newer versions of games unless they have a simplistic control system to it they are you know our game testers have a harder time you know adjusting to it but NBA jams is different in this game if you see here the controls are very easy there's a turbo button the left stick is used to you know control the player the right stick can be used to shoot and pass and then the A button is to pass, B is to try to steal, and X is to shoot. Matchup, it's the Golden State Warriors so it's very the easy. And if you're wondering why I chose these two teams here, the Warriors and the 76ers, Brand wins the tip. is I'll tell you why. I am actually from the Bay Area. <laughs> and because we live like maybe 30 minutes away from Philadelphia, you know, Curry. I wanted to choose two teams that represented, you know, everything that we were doing here. Plus, a lot of our time. game testers are big Phillies fans, so so we wanted to make sure that we got that into the system. The, excuse me, into the testing. So, as you see here, the game is very simplistic in controls. There's nothing, anything big about it. There's nothing like, okay, I, you know, my son or daughter needs to learn how to use the controls. And for anyone in the last 25 years, you know, if you're in your 40s like how I am, this is something that you would recognize in the arcades if, you know, that you've seen and played and so forth. Uh, that was a too hard to shoot. But, you know, but the game is very fun. It's, it's a game in which anyone can pick up and play. This is something that's always a fun game to play, and especially if you have a child that wants to play sports titles and you want to you know, learn yourself how to play a sports title. NBA Jams has always been one of those games that you cannot go wrong on. And, you know, the other thing about the game is that the fact that the game is so simplistic in controls. It's something you can pick up and play. And one thing we did notice that the computer's AI in this is a little 
favoritism towards the end. It will favor like just a minute left to go here in the first quarter. And you know, like if you're ahead, the game will itself try to play catch up Releases in ways that you know normally the computer will not behave. Don't interrupt it. So it's Here's something Kurt. to keep in mind. Yep. Finally got a dunk. This is what happens when you don't play a game for 30 years. I mean 20 years. Brand fires away. Misfires for two. So Curry. Again, this is not a long broadcast. We wanted now to kind of showcase some of the work in the game and so forth. But again, I wish I could say Stephen more, but Curry NBA Jams is just a fun family game. One of the, actually, what I can say more about this. One thing I would say is, if you have a family of four, uh, like, you know, yourself Curry. and, you know, your significant other and two children or anything, the game does support a four-player mode, which is a very fun mode. It's, you know, it's, it's a hoot. Actually, you have to forgive me for saying that with a hoot. Um, it's a very fun game to play, especially for parties, um, you know, for kids. If kids come by and you don't want them, you know, playing games like Call of Duty or so forth or, you know, playing things that, you know, that's not appropriate for all ages. NBA Jams is one of those classic games that everyone can play and no one will ever get bored of. So, uh, I'm trying to think, see, it's, I swear, I think in my old age, it's hard for me to play and talk at the same time, so, but this is a fun game. Now, if I'm correct in the roster choices, just by what I'm seeing, they're using the 2011 roster, so, again, you know, if you have a son or daughter that's a big sports fanatic, and they may say, wait a minute, this is not the current roster that's being used, and, you know, that's the thing. The game is an older game. Uh, this did come out on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. So this is something that's not going to reflect the current rosters or anything of that sort. So, you know, that is something else to keep in mind. Uh, again, it's all about, I hate to say it, it's not about skill or luck. I mean, I am... I am a Warriors fan, but nice I'm actually a Hawks fan, to be honest with you. But Stephon Curry's three-point shooting is a lot better than it is in this game, which I kind of find surprising. But, you know, like the things that he's doing in this game, I'm finding very hard to believe. But, again, as I was talking before about if you're purchasing this as a single-player game for your son or for your family, understand the game does have some type of play adjustment that if, if it's losing, to you know, just to keep it competitive, they will, you know, pretty much go ahead and start doing shots that are impossible or, you know, shots that are impossible or things of that nature to keep it competitive. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, frustration does kick in after a while, um, especially when you see that you have a lead and then the computer all of a sudden is making shots that the real life person would never do. Three. Hits from that's what I'm used to seeing with Stephon Curry is shooting a three-pointer, but the game will, you know, show that he'll, he'll be missing his shots, shot and, Drops you know, it's things that you have to keep in mind. Now, the other factor is this game Curry. is online playable with others, so yeah, like if you are a you in a family in which where Xbox Live or PlayStation and Network is long something long that two. you don't monitor, you may want to monitor as sometimes people, kids and adults, they Listen. usually tend to get Curry a little wild playing this, the and runner. it's kind of like, you know, this is a game, it's not that even serious, Buzz but there are people the that, you know, tend to use a lot of profanity when playing, play and you may want to monitor your loved one's gaming habits online Passes if they're playing a sports game especially. Now, this is not uncommon, this is something that's pass. common that's seen. You may Here's run into Curry. a room where you find a good He's opponent that you play against, and then there's times you run into rooms where... People are trolling or trash talking and being inappropriate, and that's something you want to monitor. And I'm trying to think of what else. Looking through my notes. Here. Here's the money ball. No good to Brand. You know what they say: the bigger the shop, the bigger the love. Do not cool your shot block me. So you know that's I'm looking through my notes. I apologize for that. But again, this is something that you may want to, you know, keep in mind. And not just with sports games also. This is actually in common with any type of gaming. So this is something that you want to always keep in mind when, you know. See, right there, the computer should have, like, lost the ball and it didn't. But again, getting back to, like, multiplayer play, um, as this is not a popular game anymore online compared to other games, 
this is something that you may want to Here's just still keep in mind when you're letting your loved ones play this. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, what I'm gonna do is I wish I had more to say, but this is a popular game in the office. Uh, because of the Warriors Blue, that's one of the reasons why it was chosen for the Light of the Blue Challenge. It's again, because I'm a Warriors fan from the Bay Area, but. You know, guys, you know, this is, again, use always caution, especially with sports titles. You want to make sure you choose something that, you know, your family's going to play. Uh, I believe there is a demo still available for this through the backwards compatibility. I'm not sure through the PlayStation Network. I have to check on that and do research. But, you know, if it's something that, you know, appeals to you or you have that special someone in your family that's a basketball fan, but they're not into, like, heavy or, you know, Simulation modes such as like NBA 2K and so forth. This is a great alternative, and because it's very kids friendly, very family friendly, especially, this is something that you may want to, you know, keep in mind. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to finish out this quarter and the fourth. And then, again, guys, any questions or concerns, you know how to reach us, you know, by email by, you know, social media, on our website, everything, you know, feel free to contact us, ask us any questions, and, you know, we'll be happy to answer. But guys, take care, and tomorrow is a very special game. It's Ori and the Blind Forest, and we, you know, we love the game here, and be sure to tune in. All right, take care. get that stuff out of here! And he can't get that, and he dunks that one back home right over everybody. from outside. Out. Misses again. Brand feeling the shot. He's heating up. Gets it over to the open man. Rejected. Brand. Shot goes up. Coming through. Brand shooting lights out. That's three in a row. Knifing through the lane. You bring the cheap stuff to the block party? Get that stuff out of here. Hits the floor like evil can evil. Say goodbye to your coccyx. Curry forks and fires the three. Oh, well, that was me again. Sorry. Duran comes up shooting. And he plants the ball on for two. Dishes it. Lee firing for two. Got his legs under him with that one and drains it. Turn your head and cough. And he'll just float that one up there. No good! Lays it up. Gets by his man for an easy two. Knocks it loose. He has got all the moves. Boom shakalaka! With the quick release, and it's good as it drops two for two. The money ball. Dear Rim, I'll miss you so completely. We're in the midst of battle. It's hard not knowing where you are. Drills it from downtown. Curry for three. Nice shot from downtown. Gets pushed back. He goes careening off the floorboards and somehow holds on to the ball. Can't get it to drop. Curry flips up. He is seeing red now. Finds a man open. A long two. Nice bucket there. Andre Iguodala with 23 points. Gives it up to the open man. Here's Curry. And he can't stick the three. Lee, the silver ball right through the heart. Golden State wins the game. The final score is 57 to 49.